It's been a staple of Hollywood films over the past few decades. The United States government just asked us to save the world. But today's mission was the first real planetary defence test and it was a success. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. And we have to do More than a decade of work paid off, leaving NASA staff elated. Humanity won. Asteroids zero. The mission was to fire a spacecraft the size of a fridge at an asteroid called Didymus. Travelling at six kilometres per second, it hit its target, a smaller asteroid orbiting Didymus. Even if we change it just by a few metres, that can tell us a lot about what we could do in the future if something was coming our way. Through the crucial moments, Canberra's deep space communication complex was NASA's eyes and ears. We tracked its last moments as it headed towards the asteroid, all the tracking data, all the photos, all the information that the science team needed. The locals enabled the mission to hit with its one shot after two years of training for the big moment. It'll take NASA months to gather all the relevant information and the Canberra site will play an important role in that too, using the largest antenna in the southern hemisphere. We'll build up a better picture, what information we need to be able to send another asteroid off at its way so that we have a better chance than the dinosaurs had 65 million years ago. No known asteroid larger than 140 metres is expected to hit Earth for the next century, but it's estimated only 40% of those asteroids have been identified to date. It's unlikely the defence capability will be needed any time soon, but today's mission has helped NASA prepare so Earth doesn't have to rely on Bruce Willis to save the day. Peter Lusted, ABC News, Canberra.